What's up guys, it's Day and I'm back with another video. Alright guys, so today's video, I mean I can't really call it, I guess it's kind of tea, sort of tea, not really. Don't mind me, I'm doing my video in Egypt's room today because Richard is sleeping. She was sleeping but she just woke up. Seems like every time I'm going to do something she knows and she's like, yeah right, hello I'm here. Um, so she's just eating right now, but basically I'm going to give like my opinion on a couple things. Um, I guess something popped off. Natalie Nunn was riding a spirit. The person said it was spirit airlines. She sings, Natalie sings Southwest. I don't know if the person just didn't know what airline they were on or like if Natalie's on, I don't know, but she's a baddie. Who knows? baddies say do whatever um and then i'm going to talk about just a little bit about the last episode in my opinion and feelings on certain things that took place in that episode i tried to watch it live with you guys but i got a copyright strike from zeus so i politely had to get rid of that video because i'm not losing my channel oh my god bullshit but anyways let's get into the video all right so this morning i'm minding my business drinking my coffee and I'm scrolling down, I believe it was Facebook, and I see a person post a picture of Natalie with her luggage and all that, I'll put it here, um, boarding a regular plane. I mean, I don't see a problem with that at all, honestly. The only thing I can say is like, during this season of baddies, she been giving mean girl vibes. Like, again, she's a baddie, she does what she does, and that's all fine. But this season definitely feels like there's a lot of separation and it it's given off vibe like the obies are like the shit and the newbies like peasant type vibe. And y'all all supposed to be getting to the bag together, working together as baddies. So I don't really think that that should be the vibe. I get it. None of them hoes can get along. Got it. But every season up until now, everybody's been on the same page. Now it's kind of like they're up here and the new girls are down here and then it's like she, i feel like she takes more well-known people like mariah lynn um suki and her friend i forgot her name into her new house but they all need to be with the newbies you can't you know what i'm saying they're all new if it's gonna be the ogs then the ogs need to be in that house and just the ogs but speaking of that i must say them hoes looks roly scotty and natalie this season I cannot complain. I be sitting there like, yes, this bitch look good this season. Hello. Natalie is doing her shit with her looks this season, I must say. Like, top tier A1. I don't know if she got a new makeup artist, stylist, hairdoer, tummy tuck. I don't know what's going on, but it's definitely given this season. And Scotty with the red. I love that. Roly, she just doing her little, you know, Roly. She doing her thing. But she look good this season, too. All them hoes look really good this season class um but yeah so back to the topic um i definitely feel like again it's not a problem for her to ride fucking okay, economy first class second class i don't know how that works it's an airplane i'm sure if you got to get where you're going in a rush you're gonna hop on any flight available no matter who you are unless you're like somebody who owns a private jet then you're gonna take the private jet I think where that person is coming from that shared that is off the strength of this season. It's definitely giving, like I said, like they're up here and the other girls are down here. So it's kind of like, oh, the baddies, the real baddies are going on the PJ and all this and that about the PJ for a little 20 minute private jet ride. When I honestly feel all the girls should be on the PJ. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, it's giving Mean Girl vibes, like OD and Mean Girl, like just like, better than everyone vibes and I get it baddies do what they do but that's where that person is coming from and posting that like you you ain't got that much money why you don't have your own private jet and then you're treating these girls like trash like oh they're not getting on the PJ they're gonna take the bus they're gonna take the bus like no so if you're gonna be boasting and all that then make sure you're on a private jet every single time I don't care if you gotta go two minutes away make sure you're on a private jet every single time that's 
where I'm coming from, that's how I feel like they're seeing it. That's how a lot of people are probably seeing it because that, like I said, it's definitely Mean Girl vibes this season. Like, and Natalie put, you know, her little commentary. I'll put that here. And that's all fine. Like, I get it. It's a Monday. She had to go where she was going. She's saying it's Southwest. I don't know. Do y'all think it was really Southwest or Spirit? Because the girl said it was Spirit Airlines. So, I don't know if Natalie just trying to, like, fake the funk. Because a lot Southwest is really well-known. Spirit it would be considered shitty compared to Southwest. Me, personally, I'll only fly Delta. But let me shut up because I've never been on a Southwest flight. I have been on Spirit and it sucks. No offense. It's just not smooth. Um, but I don't know. What do you guys think? You think she's really on a Southwest or she's on Spirit trying to save her ass? But I could have swore Southwest seats were blue on the inside. Again, never been on one. I'm just saying. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I definitely... I just don't know. Like, if, if you are riding, like, don't lie. You know what I'm saying? If you are on Spirit, then yes, bitch, I'm a baddie. Like, keep that energy. I'm a baddie. I was on the fucking economy motherfucking seat in spirit, bitch. What? I got shit to do. I'm going to take this 40-minute flight to where I need to be. I ain't got time for the private jet. I don't know. I don't know. But that's just my opinion. Um, I don't know. Like, again, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're going to come boasting and be a bully, because they definitely give him bully vibes this season. I don't care. You're going to be a bully, then... Be a baddie and say what the fuck it really is. Or have a private job all the time. And yeah, she did give her commentary and her little joke broke Monday, blah, blah, blah. But like, no, seriously. Like, no, seriously. Like, if it was spirit, just say, yeah, I was on a spirit flight. What the fuck is your point? I mean, we all know she got money. Her net worth is up there. She's fucking an executive producer of baddies. And baddies is doing well. Like, no need to... And honestly, <clears throat> I don't even think, like, you know what I'm saying? I get it. Celebrities are up there and well-known people are up there. But I don't even think, you know, it, it's not fair to hold people to that standard of always having to, like, you know, be out luxurious private jet all the time. Fucking first class all the time. No, they're normal human beings, too. But a lot of celebrities fall into that, like, realm of feeling like they have to have it all the time. And... Like, show it that way all the time when, like, no, just be out there like Cardi B. Cardi B don't give a fuck if she out here with makeup, no makeup. She's very authentic with a lot of stuff. I can't say we'll see her on a regular flight, but she might. You never know. She still goes to the Bronx. She does what she does. She's humbled. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't let the fact that she does have money let the world kind of mold into what you think we should see. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. But y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think on that. But anyways, that's just my opinion on that. Like I said, not sure if it was actually Spirit or Southwest. It shouldn't matter. But if you're going to keep with the vibes this season with this whole private jet and all that, like you paid for the private jet when that's really Zeus's private jet, then you should be on a private jet all the time. That's all. But anyway, um, another thing I wanted to talk about on this season, first of all, I love Krishan's sister. That is my favorite. She fucking, oh my God, I love her. I love Krishan too, but I don't know what's going on with all that stuff. Um, I, Smiley, y'all definitely jumped that girl. She got jumped. Like, I'm tired of Mariah Lynn bopping bitches when they're not looking, bro. Everybody, when she got into Seki, to, to Seki, Spite. She want to bop the bitch when she ain't looking. She want to bop Smiley when she ain't looking. I mean, them hits was connecting and Smiley was gushing, but y'all jumped that girl. I consider it jumped. If it wasn't like a one-on-one -on -one square up, let her get the opportunity to catch her breath and focus on what the fuck she's about to do, that's jumping someone. You definitely jumped her. Period. Like, yeah, sure, it wasn't three of y'all just doop, 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 but she got, she was jumped. That girl got jumped. I don't care what nobody says. Um... And then, if she really did have a miscarriage, that's kind of fucked up. But who knows, because I don't know, I wouldn't be in the club after a miscarriage, so who knows how true that is. But, no, I, I feel like she was jumped. If y'all gonna all fight or y'all wanna do whatever, then 
one on one. Square up like the CT did with them girls. Boom, boom, boom. Next. That's how I feel like it should be because she definitely, Smiley was not expecting Mariah Lynn to just stoop the way she did. Like, no. And then all that for the chain and all that shit. Like, I don't know. It'd be real life drama. I get it. Respect and all that stuff, but I don't know. It's just not that serious to me. I don't know. And then what other shit did I want to talk about? T. Y'all gotta check out her little YouTube channel and her music. I honestly, the You Mad song was alright, but I prefer her singing voice. It's unique. So Y'all gotta look at her actual singing videos because it's good. Um, I don't feel like she was kind of jump, sort of, kind of. But hers, I'll say, was more like it didn't go the way Smiley's went. Like Smiley, she was jump. Don't care. She was definitely jumped. Um, T, I, I honestly love hate her <laughs> like she was doing the most at first and like making everything a joke and then like as the show progressed like she's you know you can vibe with her but she was definitely sick that day and i don't know because y'all know secretly stuff is scripted and who knows what they really want us to see but that day when scarface did her in creeping around the motherfucking bed and like I don't know, but she was watching her, so she, she wasn't jump. But I get why she went in the house like, oh, hi, 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 because she was sick and had a stink-ass attitude and nobody liked it, so she went in on a better energy. I mean, it was a little much, but she was pro bleh, bleh, trying to prove a point. Like, so I get it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's just some of my honest thoughts and opinions. Make sure you guys comment down below what you think, how you're feeling about baddies this season. And again, I'm not saying... Them bitches looks are giving this season. Natalie's little motherfucking China sticks and up down. I'm fucking with their looks. I love it. They look good with their little colorful shit. Them bitches are doing it. But I don't know. That's just my opinion on stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video.